hello welcome back so in the last video we have created our script and this is what we have done we are creating a variable called p country name and in that p country name we are putting something value equal to a country name which is a random country name and whatever that variable p country name we are putting in this web submit form right here all right and this is how you are going to create a user with a different countries for each iteration so now let's basically uh, you know you know give it a run and what i'm going to do i'm going to go to runtime setting and make it 10 iterations and so let's run and i'm going to print the output message for the value p country name so whatever p country name is is, is is presenting here so those things will be go here as web underscore submit form so let's run this thing okay so first time it came azerbaijan second time dominican republic and third time it is russian federation and so on so basically it's going to give me 10 random countries that's it okay so so this is the way that you saw how you can use how can you use correlation to get a dynamic variable so i'm telling you another use of correlation so when i go to this module home page i am seeing two courses all right and then let's say another another user is going to another another user who has a teacher role can go and create a new course or delete a course if i create my script using parameterization that means i need to go to a fixed set of course then my script might fail the script might fail because some other user during the load test some other scenarios some other user might delete a course might delete this demo course and then if my script is recorded that it is going to access demo course then it's going to fail right so this is a kind of scenario where uh, your script should go and check what are the what are the available courses are at, at that point of time based on that put those things in array if you are looking this thing like test course is pointing to say course id 3 and this is pointing to course id 2 and so on like we can script so that we can get the course ids put them in an array and then randomly go to a course okay so instead of going to a particular course we can go randomly the available course at that point of time so this is another scenario where you where we use correlation and in fact we are going to use this uh, technique along a lot in our when we are going to create our benchmark scripts another point that i told you know why i am using here uh, you know in the for loop why i'm starting with two the reason is starting of two is that the first element is not a country so when you capture in the left boundary right boundary we have a country which is called select a country so that is the that is the number one element okay so therefore we ignore that number one element okay we don't really need uh, to to start with uh, i equal to one okay so that is the reason why uh, we did that all right so with this i think we covered a lot of correlations and uh, in the next video we are going to discuss about correlation libraries so that we can leverage the correlations during the recording time thank you